Knowing the difference between active and passive voice is one of the easiest ways to begin to improve your writing. So what is the difference? Active voice shows a clear relationship between the subject and the verb. The subject does something, and the verb moves the sentence along. Passive voice, however, includes a subject that is acted upon by an agent. Using passive voice in your writing is technically grammatically correct, but the use of active voice is generally preferred because it gives a sense of immediacy and clarity to the sentence. Let's look at a few examples. A sentence using passive voice might sound like, ice cream was given to Katie by Drew for her hard work. The same sentence using active voice would be, Drew gave Katie ice cream for her hard work. Notice that in both sentences, Drew gives Katie ice cream. However, the passive voice sentence is wordier and less direct. Using active voice allows you to make your point in a quick, clear way. An easy way to check for passive voice in your writing is to reread your work and pay special attention to the verbs you use. If you think you can say the same thing with less words, do it. That's using active voice. Here's a quick way to screen for passive voice on Microsoft Word. Go to File, click on Options, go to Proofing, Settings, scroll down to the heading that says Style, and click on Passive Sentences. See? Word identified the passive voice in our example. If you right-click on the identified portion, Word will suggest a way to fix it. Use the Word function to get a sense of how much you use passive voice and try to reduce it as necessary. Thanks for watching. I've included a few hyperlinks to online resources in the video's description if you'd like a more in-depth explanation.